All right, we keep the show rolling right along. Next comment coming up. Uh, one of my good friends, also um, local here, so I paid um, a lot of expense to get him here. Kind of pay for his Uber, and I had to pay Uber at sale because he's bougie. So I paid twenty five dollars to get him here, and I, I know I could have just picked them up, but he he's he's bougie. So uh, without further ado, start clapping right now for my homie, Mr. Selwyn Fisher. <laughs> I just want to thank all y'all for coming out tonight. You know, it's deep in here. All you, you, you missing people, you know. You know what they say when uh, you seen Six Sense. I seen nobody. Fuck the dead people. <laughs> I said, I'm rolling, I don't see nobody. Um, Brandon, Brandon is an interesting character because um, he, he likes wrestling. And I and I and I admire that about him, cause you know, I can see him right now when Brandon be having sex. I can see him. He be in here imitating Macho Man Randy Savage. He was like, "Oh yeah, all the million dollar million pussies that I done had tonight, yeah." And I done let all my little Macho Maniacs. And he was like, "No, that's that's." <laughs> That's your little savages, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then there was Stone Cold come out. He was like, well, hell, yeah. I don't give a goddamn what the hell you talking about here, boy. You know what I mean? He got that little rasp. I had a boss that sounded like him. Um, I was in the Air Force, and um, his, name was, <laughs> his name was Colonel Garland. He was like, <laughs> his son, he, one day he comes in, and he says, Dad, he said, I don't... I don't know how to get girls. He said, son, tell him your dad's a pilot, and then you, that's how you get pussy. I said, shit, I, I, I wish my daddy was around, <laughs> right? Because uh, he, he flew off, no pun intended. Uh, anyway, that was, that was the impromptu there, just I'm fucking around. Um, you know, I... I Brandon talking about me. I, I'm not the hardest dude, though. And, like, a lot of people look at me like I'm intimidating. I'm, I'm not gangster at all. I like gangster dudes, though. I, I admire them because they be like, I'll beat your ass, bitch. You be like, shit, calm down a little bit. You know what I mean? They act like they not scared of shit. And you be out in the city, you know, and be like, nigga, I don't do shit. I don't. And you be like, let's go to the park today. They go to the park. They walking through them. like, man, what the fuck we doing out here? I'm like, man, we can smoke. You be like, shit, I could do that. <sighs> Got them beat, beat, beat. Uh, scared as shit, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck you mean? You you a gangster? You scared of a beat? You like, I'm allergic. You know what I mean? I might die. I'm fuck around with the beat. You know, I don't seen that shit. Hell, I done did it myself. I was I was getting out the car one day and um, there's a random hornet just jumped on my face. I, motherfucking. <sighs> I done beat my own ass. I'm, I'm fucked up. I got knots all over my shit. I was like, the hornet was just down there. He was like, well, I mean, fuck what you tripping about, man. I was like, shit, I, I thought you was a bee. Because <laughs> I'm allergic. Yeah. <laughs> I am, man. I'm allergic to bees, you know. Um, I grew up in this area. Um, and uh, I hate this time of year because... A seasonal pollen. Pollen is all around, and you know. They say that uh, springtime is uh, the birds and the bees, you know, the flowers and the trees are like, oh, okay. It's, some, it's uh, springtime sex time, right? Right? It's basically Mother Nature's porn hub. You be like, you be walking out, you go to your car, and you like, you just see bukkake all over your shit. It's like, yo, for real? I just watched that. He was like, yes, but I just came. Goddamn trees over here. And he was like, man, fuck all that. I'm not trying to see all this damn cum. You know, that's really what it is. It's damn tree cum. Just, and now you sneezing this shit and you see the extra evidence. You're like, Poof. just snot all down your nose. You was like, goddamn, that is bukkake. Ugh. 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 Anyway, I know that's nasty as shit. Um, Man, uh, what was I gonna talk about? Relationship? Y'all in a relationship? Y'all, y'all dating? Man, you ever been broken up before? Like, not, not y'all two. 
I'm, just, I'm saying, have you been, somebody broke up with you? Yeah, y'all had to get together. I had this girl break up with me, man. Um, she was like, she was like, Selwyn, I can't do this anymore. She was like, you know, I'm like, but she she was breaking up with me, but didn't want to break up. But then she was breaking up with me. And I was like, I said, bitch, just make up your mind, right? So she was like, you know, the problem is I just, this relationship isn't going anywhere. And I was like, we just went to the damn restaurant the other day. I was like, where you want to go? She was like, no, I just feel like we need more. I said, we, I mean, how many voices you got in there? Right, because I knew something was off. I was like, I seen the flags, but I bypassed them because she told me she was going to give me some pussy. So I was like, cool. I was like, you know, it's all right. But then she told me she was going to break up with me. And I was like, I said, all right, man, cool. And I let, I let it go. She calls me at the job and she says, hey, um, we just need to talk. And I was like, for what? You broke up with me. She's like, actually, um, I wanted to come by and bring you something. I was like, what you want to bring me? She's like, you left something at my house. I was like, I didn't leave shit at your house. I took everything with me. Actually, you left your socks at my house. I was like, why would I do that? Um, you can just keep them. No, no, I need to bring them to your house, to the job. So she comes to my job, brings them over, and she was like, yeah, um, these are yours. I was like, Where the who the fuck socks are these? Right? I didn't recognize the socks they had. I knew they wasn't mine because they was blue and they had pineapples on them. And I was like, you know, that was one of our signs. I was like, when well, I was going too far, you ever did that? You need a call sign. He was like, hey, man, <laughs> pineapples, you're choking, shit like that. You know, she she, she went there. I'm like, sometimes she, when she used to get extra, she was like, mm, lips be drooling. And I ain't talking about the ones up top. I was like, I said, girl, you special. Ooh, <laughs> right? I could tell she was special. I was like, I said, all right, this, this, these are the flags. These are the flags. When you get extra drool, you be like, you know what? There ain't, ain't nothing crazy about that. He was like, why is your lips dripping like that? And then I was like, I had to make sure. And then I was getting STDs checked, and I was like, I said, okay, but it's okay. Then I realized something about myself. I was like, even though I see the flags, I was like, you know, I like Six Flags. It's a great adventure, you know what I mean? You ever been on a roller coaster? You just get on that ride, and you be like, God damn. Ah! People always tell you, like, why don't you just get off the ride, man? I was like, man, did you ride that ride? That's a good ass ride. I was like, until after a while, you've been on it so many times, you was like, I'm tired of this ride. So I just, we was done. I was like, I was like, oh. And I knew I was broken up with her when she told me, uh, told me I stole her pillowcase. She said, someone give me back my silk pillowcase. I was like, what the fuck would I be doing with a silk pillowcase? She said, it's for my hair. I wrap it up. Bitch, I'm bald. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm trying to figure this shit out myself. I was like, so you just think I'm out here stealing pillowcases? She said, like, yeah, that's why I had to rename her ass. I was like, your name is now Pillowcase. And any time I see somebody with some crazy signs, I was like, this bitch is a pillowcase. I was like, you know, sometimes they say, you, you missing some marbles? Nah, you a pillowcase, okay? You just understand that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, lately, I've been trying to work out because my daughter been roasting me. I, went, I took her out fishing recently, and uh, we was out fishing on Saturday, and we get on the water on the lake, down the Lake Ann, and they give everybody life vest. And she said, Daddy, you need a life vest. I said, nah, I'm good. She said, that's right. You got a built-in one. <sighs> Just touches my stomach. I said, first off, leave my belly fat alone. She said, you can float with that. I was like, all right now. I was like, I know I'm getting older. I said, you know they say I'm, I'm black don't crack. She said, yeah, but your knees do. And I said, first off, <laughs> you need to slow down. You need to run. And they ask you. I was like, all right, I didn't put lotion on this morning. It's okay. I'm light-skinned. You know, I'm like... And I was like, during the summertime, I don't know if y'all do this to y'all y'all black friends, but he was like, I, I hate when my white friends come up to me. He was like, you know what, Selwyn? This year, I'm going to get darker than you. I was like, what? He was like, I'm, I'm going to get blacker than you. I was like, first off, if you ain't getting pulled over by the police, you ain't blacker than me, okay? Because I, I got pulled over recently, and a dude pulled me over. He said, you know why I pulled you over? I said, if I did, I would have kept going. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I don't know, um, he said, uh, he said, 
Yeah, you been drinking tonight? I was like, mm, water, right? And, you know, I try to give him smart answers. He was like, he said, I'm, I'm talking about right now, alcohol. Uh, he was like, you been drinking the driving? I said, I normally do that when I park, right? Because I'm like, you know, you pregame. You just sit up in there. He said, sir, do you have your keys and your ignition? I said, mm-mm, mm-mm, just a push start. <laughs> I said, nigga, you need to catch up. I said, come on now, Andy Griffin. I was like, what time are you? Said, where, where you at, man? I was like, keep up with the Joneses. You know, he was like, he's like, okay, step out the car. He tells me to step out the car. He said, we're going to do the sobriety test. I start doing the test. He was like, I need you to put your nose, uh, fingers on your nose. I said, bow. I hit it. I was like, yeah, because you, you got to make the sound effect. Bow. And I was like, all right. He said, okay, I need you to walk this line. I did. I, I turned around. I said, Click my heels. He said, sir, was you in the military? I said, yes, I was. Right? I started marching. He said, just step in a straight line. I was like, all right. He said, okay, sir, you passed that. He said, I'm going to need you to say your ABCs backwards. I said, shit. He didn't know I was in the military. I said, I said, all right. About face. A, B, C. Your ass is drunk. I told your ass. I was talking about something you say your ABCs backwards. I was like, man, you, who the hell saying that shit in the first place? Who do you know who's sober who can say the ABCs backwards? You? Can you do it? All right now, yeah. Um, I hate my friends that smoke weed. They always want to offer me this shit after they finish licking it. And they're like, hey, man, you should hit this shit. And just slob the whole thing down. Yeah, right there. Just light it up here. You want to try some of that? I'm not smoking shit with you, brother. I was like, that'd be like slobbing you down. I said, that's gay. I was like, they was like, nah, man. They was like, you should really hit this shit. Because when I hit this shit, I be saying some real shit when I was smoking weed. I was like, yeah, some real dumb shit. You know what I mean? They hit that. Nigga. If we call flies, flies. You think they call us walks? Bruh, put the weed down. I was like, it is not for you. I was like, you know, that is not a question to be asking. Who the hell thinks about a fly just, there go them walks. <laughs> they were like, not with it. I was like, it's the, I don't want to get that high. I was like, I had a, I had a dope dude, he, dope dealer came over. He was like, hey, man. He was like, hey, bruh. He said, like, I got that gas. I said, nah, my, my, my car full. I was like, he was like, nah, I got that fire. I said, I'm not trying to burn up. He said, nah, man. I, he said, I'm going to get you high. I said, well, shit, what you talking about? Right? And he, he pulled the shit out of his pocket. I said, you could put that back. I was like, I don't want no pocket weed. Pocket weed, nigga? I was like, he started, proceeded to put his shit on the ground. He's like, we can weigh it out for you. I was like, no, no, I, I'm going to the dispensary. Or you get some real shit. Messed around and did that. My homeboy got me some cookies. He said, hey, man, go ahead and try these edibles. He said, try this cookie, man. He said, but don't eat the whole thing. They always tell you, don't eat the whole thing. I'm like, man, what they, nigga, I've been eating cookies all my life. Chips Ahoy, goddamn Oreos. I dip them. I dip them. Put them in milk. I was like, mm. I ate half, uh, half the cookie. I ain't feel nothing. I mean, you know, I'm starting. I was like, man, these edibles ain't shit. Do you know that's when you fuck up? Because the edible would be like this. What you say? Makes time slow down. You be like, shit. Hey, man, hold on. You start looking around for shit. Man, I was looking around. I was like, I said, oh, my God. I can't find them. Where the fuck did I put them? I can't find my legs. I lost my legs. I lost my goddamn legs. I said, I said, oh shit, man. I said, oh, you know what? I know where I left them. I left them upstairs. I couldn't walk upstairs. I had to crawl up there. I was crawling just like the Terminator. I was just like, Shh. I said, maybe I'll just put them up. You know, I probably left them in the closet. I was like, yeah, because that's where half of the people leave their shit in the closet. Speaking of the closet, man, um, I wish some of these people would go back in the closet. They, they are too flamboyant, boy. I'm telling you. I know. I'm probably going off the Ripter with this shit. But, uh, <laughs> nigga, when I was growing up, it was like only one in the neighborhood. They was like, you could tell because they were dressed real nice. And they'd be out there with the girls playing double dutch. And you'd be like, oh, shit. He was like, he's special. And he was like, man, I, I could tell what you are. You, you the F word, you know, fashionable. You're a fashionable person. <laughs> 
Anyway, I wish I was more fashionable, but women women told me that after I came back from Japan. It's like, uh, Selwyn, you know, you dress real nice. You you must be metrosexual. And I was like, I don't have sex on buses. <laughs> Nigga, I don't, I don't even know where to do that at. I was like, do you wait till you get to the back? <laughs> Just so you could hit it, you know what I mean? It was like, you wait for the doors, it'd be like, doors closing, boom, boom. Yeah, that's when the time to party. Anyway, man, my name is Selvin Fisher. Um, Y'all can tell I ain't got no goddamn sense. Y'all can look me up on Instagram. Uh, Fisher is funny. I appreciate you. Come on up, Brandon, man. Clap it up. Thank you, dog. No problem. Hey, keep it going for Selvin Fisher. Everybody, let him hear it. Let him hear it. Yes. 